Hello dear students, welcome to Axiomatic course. This video is the part of the solution series for IIT JAM 2018. So we are here with this problem 9 of your paper. This problem 9 is actually a problem from uh, linear algebra. So let us firstly have a look. Consider the vector space V over R of polynomial functions of degree less than or equal to 3. So we are given with a vector space which consists of polynomials of degree less than or equal to 3. Let T such that V to V be defined by, so we have this T of fx given by fx minus x of f dash x, then the rank of T is. So these are your options 1, 2, 3 and 4. Alright, so what you have to find out, you have to find out the rank of T. So the basic meaning for the rank of t is actually the dimension of the range space. So once you find out the dimension of the range space, then you, you got your rank. So now I will tell you that dimension of a range space of the linear transformation is actually equal to the rank of the transformation matrix corresponding to this given linear transformation. Right? So you know that for every transformation over a finite dimensional vector space, you can find out its matrix very easily. So since you got your matrix, that means you got your rank of your matrix. So that rank of the matrix is same as the dimension of the range space. So this is what I was telling you. All right. So the, uh, what, what, we, what is our strategy? Strategy is to firstly find out rank. Sorry. Uh, matrix. So what we are, we are given, given with we are given with a polynomial space of polynomials degree less than or equal to three. So now what you have you have this transformation in your hand. So it will be f x minus x of f dash x. So uh, I will tell you the procedure how to find out the matrix. So it's very simple. Just write down the basis of this space. P3x, the basis you know already is 1, x, x square, x cube. On the right hand side, it's also very simple, 1, x, x square, x cube. Alright, so this is your basis for the left space and this is your basis for the right space. Now, what you do actually in order to find out, uh, find out the matrix, you find out the image of basis element. So, image of basis element according to this one will be 1 minus x f dash x. What is f dash x? It's 0. So, it is 1. Now, what you do, you actually write this 1 as the linear combination of element written in the basis of right space. So, you got alpha dot 1 plus beta dot x gamma dot x square plus delta dot x. This is what you will get. Now see, by comparing the coefficient, what you can do, you can find out that alpha is actually 1, beta is uh, 0, gamma is 0 and delta is also 0. Alright, so see, in the matrix of T, the transformation T, the values of alpha, beta and gamma are treated as the column vectors. So you got alpha 1, beta 0, gamma 0, delta 0. So this is your column 1. In order to determine column 2, find out image of x. So it will be x minus x dot f dash of x. So that is 1. So you will get 0. So here this, this column will be completely 0 for you. Alright. So now see image of x square, it will be x square minus x dot 2x. So it will again, this will again will be 0, right? Uh, no, not, not 0, sorry. It will be x square minus x square, all right? So what you will get, just compare the coefficients. Alpha will be 0, beta will be 0, gamma will be minus 1. So I should write 0, 0, minus 1, 0. Find out x cube. So it will be, uh, I think, x cube minus x dot 3x square. So you will get minus 2 of x cube. Alright, so image will be 0, 0, 
right. So this is your uh, this is your matrix with respect to B. Uh, B is a standard basis. So I will write this. Now, if you find out the rank for this matrix, then I was telling you that this rank is actually equal to the uh, dimension of the range space. All right. So just see this thing that this column is completely zero. So these are the only three uh, columns here and they are ally. Therefore, you can directly say rank of T is three. All right. So you got my point or not? Just find out the rank for this. Whatever definition you use to find out the rank, use that and find out that rank is three. So this is how we can solve this question. It's a very easy question. All right. So thank you.